So yeah, I'm gonna start uh, broad forking and clearing some ground so we get some more veggies in the ground. All right, we're off work and we're gonna do some actual work. No more computer work, right babe? Right. All right, so we got Lindsay mowing the lawn, and I'm gonna start broad forking. So yeah, so this broad fork is a, uh, it's a metal creature broad fork. It's great because it gets you 12 inches into the ground, and then you can pull back on it, and then you pull the dirt totally loose and then you can pull your whatever vegetation is on top you can just pull it right out so this is an area we already tilled we're gonna be putting it in right over here where the chickens have already started clearing out some of the grass for us So at least right now the plan is to have some grass strips between each of these little plots. I don't know if we'll stay like that, so I'm going to do a little bit of measure just so it looks good. This is a method you can use if you want to um, really go a little bit deeper than what your typical uh, home and garden tiller can get you. Um, it also is a way to do it without using fossil fuels. Um, it takes longer, I don't know, we're going to see. I think maybe it will allow us to establish the garden. A little bit better. What's up, big man? You all right? What do you think? So we did a lot of broad forking and then Lindsay did a bunch of mowing. Let's go come out and check out the mowage job. So this is about as far as I'm gonna get today. I'm gonna try to work a little bit longer as the uh, sun goes down and see if I can get as much of this done before it rains tomorrow and we get the ground all wet and it's really hard to work with. 